And I think it is nuanced. I think uh, on the one hand, uh, the president's moves to modernize NAFTA made all the sense in the world, uh, assuming it gets resolved and, and it gets resolved quickly. Uh, it's, it's obvious that we were headed towards a, a conflict with China. Uh, m my concern there wasn't that we were going after China, but that we were doing it alone, uh, which made it much easier for the Chinese to retaliate against our own industries, particularly agriculture. So I think the president's got some good concepts, good ideas, but I'm not quite sure that the implementation uh, is how I would do it. But uh, he's obvious president, and we're going to have to deal with the, the circumstances as he, as he dictates. Wow. That's all sounds so reasonable. He almost... You were almost Hillary's running mate, weren't you? you uh, no wonder you didn't. Uh, uh, <laughs> that all sounded so weird. What about, Na what, about, what about NAFTA? That's nuanced too, isn't it? It is. Uh, you know, obviously in the dairy industry, we are deeply concerned about NAFTA. Mexico is our number one market. We want to see a quick resolution uh, to the negotiations. We'd like to see uh, what's, what's working preserved in Mexico and what isn't working in Canada changed. And our hope is that a modernized NAFTA agreement will do both, uh, provide us our number one market again without tariffs, and give us that financial advantage we experienced before the tariffs were put on, on dairy products, and open up that uh, Canadian market that's been closed for far too long, eliminate a, a pricing scheme that has caused a, a great turmoil in the powder market. Uh, that would, I think, allay many of the concerns and fears of dairy farmers. But then you've got soybean and pork producers who have concerns not just in, in NAFTA, but also in China. I think if, if people came down and landed uh, on Earth and they heard that the, the current U.S. president uh, put on tariffs and then is going to use taxpayer dollars to extend relief to the farmers that are being affected by the tariffs, do you think there's any way they would have figured that would be a, a Republican president, Governor? I mean, it, it's, it's, uh, it's crazy, isn't it? They would if they looked at the calendar. Uh, the reality is we've got yeah. uh, elections coming up, and we had an August recess. Uh, House members were going out. Senate uh, perhaps has a week or two of opportunities to listen to constituents. And what they're going to hear is a great deal of anxiety uh, out there in the countryside, especially among farmers. Uh, they don't know what the end game is. They don't see where this all ends or how it all ends. Uh, in the meantime, what they have seen are futures markets that have been roiled and, and where their potential profits have been eliminated where momentum in trade has been stopped. Uh, we had the six best year, uh, months of dairy exports in the history of the U.S. dairy industry in the last six months. But the question is, will the next six months continue that trend? Uh, there are deep concerns that that may not be the case because of the tariffs. I think a lot of people, in a lot of farmers even, are, are still kind of, I think we had a poll with CNBC that, that they're still standing by in, in a wait and see with, with President Trump on this. He still has some support, even in an agriculture community for this. Uh, but but I, I don't know how long that, I don't know how deep it runs. I, well, I, I think that's the question, how long does it run? I think if, if there is a resolution of NAFTA, a quick resolution of NAFTA that's satisfactory to agriculture, I think you'll see a, a lot of reassurance occur. If this thing drags on, if Canada isn't joined into the discussions, if for whatever reason talks with Mexico break down and, and there is no resolution of NAFTA and we see an escalation in China, then I think you're going to see deepening concerns and eventually people are going to, to, to understand that perhaps this isn't, the right, this, this isn't the right approach. But in the meantime, they're willing to give the president uh, and his team the benefit of the doubt and, and hopefully uh, in the next uh, several weeks we're going to see movement on NAFTA. Uh, given the Mexican elections, given our own elections, uh, and I think that would reassure a lot of folks. Uh, the, the money that's going to be received from the government is, is fine, but the reality is it doesn't necessarily compensate those farmers for markets that are going to be lost for a long period of time. And that's, that's the real concern here, especially with China. Uh, it's a situation where you lose a market for a year, yep. you, you perhaps can survive. But if you lose that market permanently, it, it completely changes the dynamics for American agriculture. Now, I'm looking at, at just your background. You are definitely like an East Coast guy. I see you moved to Iowa at your wife's hometown, I guess. That's how, that's how we hear from Pittsburgh and Correct. Hamilton College and Albany and all around here. Yeah, so you feel like you're in Iowa. Are you an Iowan now, specifically? You think you're a Hawkeye? Or a... <laughs> Absolutely. You I'm are? a Hawkeye. There's no question about and, it. We invite you all to the state fair. It's the greatest state fair going on right now. If you really want to know how farmers are thinking, come on out and have a pork chop. I want to go. Pad. And you were born into an orphanage. You know, I was too. And I, 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 th I think that's kind of cool. How, when we, how old were you when you were adopted, Mr. Secretary? Do you know? Do you know? Uh, just, I, I was a small child. I was yeah, a baby when I was adopted. Me I was too. fortunate. 
But, we, but you put that in your oh. CV. I'm going to start putting it in mine, too, because uh, it sounds more, I don't know. I was in an orphanage. It just, I don't remember, but it sounds good, doesn't it? It just sort of, you know. It sounds and, awful. Sounds awful, but, but well, I, I, we can we can use the sympathy card uh, with people, and then we. It's, I no, agree no, it, 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 it's the greatness of America. It is that somebody I can agree. start off in a fairly humble situation, and uh, you know be on TV every day. Right. Um, I was raised by folks I was raised by markets. nuns. I'm still deathly afraid of, of penguins. Deathly afraid of. Nuns. Well, I was raised by the same the same uh, by the nuns. same order. This. Yep. Excellent. Rosary beads have never been, uh, rosary beads, I have an interesting relationship with rosary beads. I like to hang on to them, but I'm not quite sure I like them when they're <laughs> whipping around in the classroom. Well, you know what, <laughs> it was a different time, and uh, I have great parents, and, but, uh, and I appreciate that uh, we both obviously benefited from all the, the work that uh, the people did back then. Anyway, uh, Mr. Secretary, thank you.